Well, Thanksgiving is just right around the corner, and I've really, this morning, been thinking about um, and longing for a deeper, authentic um, thankfulness that can just come up and out of me. I, I think looking at the world, it's, on, on the one hand, you can see, oh, yeah, I'm thankful for this and that. On the other hand, there's a lot that is really uh, difficult in the world. And so um, I've come to this uh, short verse in Colossians 3 that, that says, let the word of Christ richly dwell within you. And later in the verse, it, it talks about a heart that is uh, thankful and grateful and singing. And and I'm really leaning into that this morning and 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 by which I am preparing for uh, for Thanksgiving, but I, I think about the word, you know, the word, riching, dwelling richly within me, and uh, for some reason this story has come to mind. I, um, I was taking vitamin C one morning, and um, a friend was with me. I think we're on a trip or something. And like, oh man, you know, I'm trying to fight off a cold. Let me, can I have a vitamin C pill? And I'm, and I said, yeah, here, here you go. And and they said, is it chewable? And I was like. <laughs> I was like, yeah, it's chewable, but I knew it wasn't chewable. And it, you know, they they bit into it and it just, the look on their face was awesome. I mean, I don't know if you've ever bit into a vitamin C pill that wasn't chewable. It was just, it was just a funny thing. But but I've thought about how I read the Bible and, and oftentimes I try to chew something that is to be digested, to be taken in. Now I'm not, I'm not a scientist. I don't know the difference between a chewable pill and one that you just swallow. But but it seems like the one that you swallow dissolves over time and impacts more of your body. I could be wrong on that, but the imagery is there. I, I think there's something to letting the word of Christ richly dwell within you, to where we. Uh, we receive in a way that, and we digest in a way that affects every area of life and thankfulness emerges from that. That word let is, is really key here. I think we have a superpower of controlling what our mind dwells on. So we are allowing thoughts, allowing words, helpful and holy words to come. And I don't know about you, but man, I have just allowed uh, so many other words be spoken to my heart that have to do with fear and shame and to do's and past hurts and and it's like man, you know, what would happen if I allowed these good and helpful words from God to dwell, to be digested and taken in to my spiritual life and to every other area of life, my parenting life especially. Um, so two quick ways uh, that, that I'm learning to do that, to uh, allow his word to richly dwell in me. And, and this is a kind of another way of saying setting your mind on things above. But the first way is to use my visual mind, to use my imagination as I read through the scriptures, even like if Jesus were to kind of take a knee and be with somebody who is sick and heals them, I just, I carry that image around with me. And one theologian said, you know, when you read scripture like that, yeah, you can memorize it. That's great. But also memorize the moment. Walk around it. Take in the imagery. Walk around the, the, the biblical passages and you can carry that with you. That is letting the word richly dwell. Uh, and then another way is, is to um, attach sec sections of scripture to seasons of life. And this is something that I haven't really done intentionally, but I've just realized as I've gone back through my journals that there are uh, words or images of Scripture that I've connected to different seasons, hard, good seasons of life. And that helps me to recall them, to remember them. And one example of this is, uh, gosh, it was 21 years ago. I was doing premarital counseling with Emily and Don and Donna Miller, and there was a lot you know, that was before me with career and decisions. And it was, it was hard, you know, and, and I just, I won't ever forget Don just in his gentle, sweet way, referring to Psalm 138 uh, and verse eight, he says, you know, he said, John, this, this is a good word for you. Uh, he says, the Lord will accomplish what concerns me. The Lord will accomplish what concerns me. 
And I've just carried that. Now, I don't think that means that he's, God's gonna do everything and it's gonna work out, everything's gonna work out great. It just reminds me that, that God is with me and he sees what's going on. And it also reminds me that he will act, that he is moving. And so that's been really helpful. Uh, so those two things is to use your visual mind to memorize moments, carry them with you throughout the day, and then also attach sections of scripture to seasons of life. And, and that, I think, letting those, those words and those stories and those images dwell richly within you, it does, man. It just, it, it, thankfulness and connection with other people and singing songs, you know, it, that naturally flows out of my heart. So that is my hope for myself. I hope that that is true for you this week. If you'd like to post what little words or images that are really helpful for you that bring uh, from, from uh, Christ's word to you, that bring about thankfulness, please post them. I'd love to see them. And I hope you have a great holiday week. And uh, may God bless your time.